I rise in support of this bill, and I wanted to correct uh, something that I heard as part of the discussion. As a way of background, I have been involved in these cases from beginning to end, representing both the children, the parents, and the agencies in some of these adoptions. This bill is not designed to streamline the process, and it's not designed in any way, shape, or form to take away the rights of the incarcerated individual. But from a, and they are entitled to counsel, they're entitled to due process, they're entitled to hearings, and in most cases they have court-appointed counsel specifically for these situations. All this is designed to do is give the uh, opportunity for somebody that's in the prison system to be a witness. From a practical point of view, it's very difficult to get witnesses into a prison because of the high security. So this does not require the Department of um, Corrections to have one of the guards be a witness. It just allows it, and that's why it's a may rather than a shall. And so this would actually help children that are in the system that are trying to get a permanent placement. It's not designed in any way to get rid of a defendant's rights or an incarcerated person's rights or a father or mother that is going to go ahead and voluntarily relinquish any of those rights. They are still entitled to counsel, but what this does is just simply allow not mandate, but allow somebody in the prison to be a witness. And so it actually would help the process from a practical point of view because other witnesses are normally not available. So I would encourage you to vote in the affirmative for this bill.